we have got the document so this document is pretty informative i will say go through that again today we will complete this topic of document transformation uh, mostly it will be just summarizing and then going into little detail of it etv and xtt right so yesterday we did this document transformation that what it is right a document transformation is never a stand alone integration it's a possessive girlfriend or a boyfriend it needs its partner right either a connector or a studio any integration and it is either before or after the integration right it is before when it's an inbound one right it gets and then the important thing is that it works only on the xml part right because document transformation we have to attach a code which is an xslt code and that xslt code works only on xml so the input has to be xml right so either if it is post meaning a connector and then a dt then the output of connector will come to dt and dt will transform it and deliver it if it has to use has to be used before then you'll get the file document transformation will transform it and the transformed file will go to the connector right so that was the basic we did yesterday and the way to create it is similar it's written in this in this guide create integration system same task you choose document transformation as the template and then you attach the code and then on the business process of the integration you configure it either after or before as per your functionality right now going into this detail we saw that xslt is an open source it's not workday proprietary so any syntax or code you want to know you can search it on google right in dt the only extra thing that we have is these two functions which is etv and xtt those these are the core of document transformation and these two functions can only be used in the xslt of document transformation we will see another integration type which is called eib that also has xslt but that doesn't we cannot use xtt and etv in that so that's the difference between an xslt which is used in a document transformation and an xslt which is used in an eib so the advantage dt has it that it has we can use etv and xtt functions and these are faster in compare to the normal functions that's it okay now as you said etv stands for element transformation and validation xml to text is the full form of this xtt so if you are using xtt that means your final output will be text and if you are using etv then it means you are just transforming and doing any validation so xml will remain xml okay the way to use them is by declaring them in the namespace so if both of them are there then that means it is xml to text okay and what we do with this we can do all of these functions arithmetic operations date time and all that can be done using this again it's the same stuff i will today focus more on the syntax part of it right so say if you want to align to the left now if you read this part here this part right what it says is xtt separator is this symbol ampersand hash xd so it is a a hex code of a tab i think right so it is a kind of a fixed width file so it's i think tab delimited now it says align to the left okay so alignment will be left and xtt severity is warning that means if if there is nothing there it will give warning okay then again this is well, this was a generic one but you can relate more to this part of the first name right in first name it says fixed length is 10 right and required is false meaning there can be cases so if you, even if the data is present or not present doesn't make any sense no impact 
and report truncation warning meaning if say the name is greater than 10 right say the name is 12 digits 12 characters but now since we have written here fixed length 10 so what it will do is it will only take the 10 characters so that means this a truncation is happening right we are stripping out the extra 2 in that case it is saying that integration should complete with the what right so that's how we can set now this uh, truncation is warning and all that can only be used in this dt using these xtt functions we have we don't have this option in the normal xslt right so this is very specific to dt okay then this is an uh, nx a kind of a uh, activity right where here it is written that locate the provided class files on your local machine in this and not that's not present but i would say go through this to see how they have explained the functions right and apart from that you already have the file that i've shared so it has that details right what they want here is that okay if say the requirement is employee id should be 10 digit and it is required and no truncation first name should be this last name should be this marital status 20 digits and all that so what they are asking you is add this code how will you add this code is just like this right instead of first name it will be last name or gender or marital status and then you have to just change the length the status warning falls true according to this requirement that's what they are saying and then moving on what do we have this one is again the same so this is something which is pipe delimited file right so in this this is a sample code right it has written here the separator is this pipe and then we have the different fields again false required is false required is true severity error and and all those stuff as per the requirement okay so there it has many snippets the code snippets which you can have a look and see and what else do we have here this is all the same right it is showing here the the targets that how do you get additional validation attributes target and target weight and all that so you can go through that it is not that very frequently used stuff but a good read to understand again the same all it is just a different use cases of the same kind of some is text file some is comma separated some is pipe delimited and all that so they have covered all these scenarios here okay now what i wanted to explain you guys which is more important than that is right yesterday i shared three files uh, and let me open that up i think it's already open let me bring that up here right so this was the input and then that was the code and i told you how to find the x path right so i just want to clarify that thing again let me copy this and open it in a notepad okay first of all let me have another one we'll start with the simple one so that i can ask you guys and you can you can answer me with that i will be able to know whether okay say 
worker is the top tag and then we have this is ending copy this part right so i am making an uh, making up a an excel right so this is header first name is x y z and then i have Okay, now say this is the XML. Okay. and i want in my xslt i want the value of base pay right so you tell me what will be the x path right first let me let's say let's start with this what will be the x path of this xyz which is the first name right so the x path will be header slash worker slash first name right right if you put this in your xslt code you will get the value this x y z now say i want the uh, this one i want the base pair so what will be the x path the header worker uh, salary. salary base pay so right after worker will be this salary, salary and mm -hmm. then slash base, base pay. pay right okay why this one because this is again different uh, right the parent of this is this and the parent of salary is worker right worker. so that's what i want you to be clear that this is a kind of a parent child relation right you check the header then it's child and then it's so first name employee id salary these are all same level right so that's why whatever we want base pay so we have to get salary and then worker if it's employee id then only employee id is worker and then header right so this is one one thing which is which was important so i thought of covering it again right and along with this just go through that uh online xslt basics along with the xml basics that will be very useful to you will get more understanding on that part okay any questions so you got the uh, clarity on what 